Well, for the first time, University of Maryland football players are speaking out about the rumors and investigations surrounding the program. Some of them are defending head coach DJ Durkin, but still confirming some of the allegations made in an explosive report by ESPN. WJZ is live. Devin Bartolotta has more on what both parents and players have to say about the scandal. Devin. Rick, less than a week ago, the university promised a full investigation into the team's inner workings, but tonight, two players are coming to the team's defense. After more than a week of swirling rumors, University of Maryland football players are going on the record. Have you ever seen or experienced a coach verbally belittling a player? Yeah, I mean, that happens. In an exclusive interview with CBS affiliate WUSA 9, defensive tackle Osei Sane confirmed rumors of a player forced to eat candy bars at a team workout. That did happen, yeah. And, you know, like I've, I saw that happen, but I mean, it is what it is, you know. It's their, I believed in their minds it was their way of motivating him to, you know, work towards the right direction. It's one of many concerning allegations that sparked an investigation into purported mistreatment of players by football staff. Four football staff members are still on leave. Still, Sane and punter Wade Lees defend their coach. These accusations are false. So. I I really hope that Coach Durkin does come back and coach us because he deserves to. And he's laid the foundation. He's done all the hard work to get us to where we are. And we're so close from succeeding. Players' parents are coming to the team's defense, too, speaking after an emotional Saturday morning meeting with university officials. When the ESPN thing came out, I'm, I'm sorry to say, I'm, I was kind of upset with it because this program is not toxic. We've gotten tight as a family, and I think it's going to continue to be that way. With an investigation into the team's culture just beginning, both parents and students will get their chance to speak out to a national committee. And Friday, the University System of Maryland Board of Regents voted to take over and oversee the investigation into the team and also into the death of player Jordan McNair. I'm Devin Bartolotta reporting live for WJZ.